Last week, students were given what is referred to in chocolate chemistry as a triangle test. The samples were given to the testers through a special door. The students take the test while sitting in separate booths in a room bathed in yellow light, which makes it harder for them to judge the sample's color. They write down their observations about each sample and then send the plate back through the door when they're finished. Oh, that was terrible. Some samples are more bitter than others. The test measures the taster's ability to tell the difference between cocoa levels in three chocolate samples. Water and a cracker are provided to cleanse the palate. Katie Robbins administered the test. What we were testing was, you know, between a 70% cocoa and an 85% cocoa, can you really taste an overall difference? Not like on sourness, not on chocolateness, but overall the taste. Brittany and Bethany Martin both said the taste lab was challenging, but fun. Um, I think it did pretty good with the yeah. milk chocolate. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the dark chocolate. Yeah. They tasted really similar. I think the tests are harder than yeah. in the lab. Yeah, definitely. The labs are really fun. Like, there's not many labs where you go in and eat chocolate eat every chocolate week, so. so. Back in the Maillard Browning lab, Dane Turner recalled the rigorous triangle taste test he took the week before. As rigorous as a taste test can get, uh, if you consider eating a bunch of fudge and different types of chocolate mm -hmm. tough, then yeah, I guess it is tough.